Okay guys, we're gonna go over a couple different scales today. Uh, we're gonna go over the folded scales, which is C, F, and D, F. Now those look familiar because they're C and D, but folded, that's what the F stands for. Now, what do we mean when we say folded? Well, if you notice, they start at pi. So essentially they are taking pi on the C and D scales and they're shifting it over so that it's at zero, essentially. But going down the line, you see that it runs exactly the same way as the C and D scales. And see, that's kind of where the fold starts. That would be our right index normally but it's in the middle of the slide. So if we keep going, that looks like the beginning of the C and D scales. And it goes all the way back over to pi on the right index. So what can we do with this? We can multiply anything on the D scale by pi. So if I take out the middle slide, just to avoid confusion. Now, if we put any number on the D scale, like three, and we go up to the D folded scale, we get about 9.4 and that goes all the way down. So anytime you wanna find pi times something, you could just put it on the D scale and then go up to the D folded scale and it'll give you your answer. And another thing you can do with the C and F scales is, remember we had that problem where if we wanted to do four times five, and if I put the left index here, now we did learn that we can also use the CI scale, but you can also use the folded scales. So if I'm trying to find five, it's all the way out here, I can't use it. But if I go to five on the C folded scale, up on the D folded, I'm gonna see 20. So they're pretty useful scales. Uh, you don't use them for everything, but they do make it so that you don't necessarily have to move the slide rule around as much. And you can do longer computations with a mix of all these scales. 